To get started, you want to arrange your embroidery threads in order on the board. So I've got two sections here and one section mirrors the other. So for this first section here, I've got the main colour on the outside and then in the centre and then again on the outside of this section and then the contrasting colour in the centre of those. So I've got three of my outside colour and two for the contrast colour. And then I've got the exact same thing at the other side. So to get started, I'm going to work this pattern as a chevron pattern. So I want to take the two threads in the centre over the first row. I'm just going to knot these two together and you can knot these in any direction you want. So then you want to take your next thread at either side. And I want to knot backward knots. For this one. And forward knots for this one. And then in the centre, it can be forward or backward, it doesn't really matter because they're the same colour. So for the third row, I want to take the next colour in the sequence. And I'm going to knot forward for the first knots. And then I'm going to switch, take this colour and knot backward. And then a mirror of this at the other side. So I'm going to take this one and knot backward. And I'll take this colour and knot forward. And then with the two colours in the centre, I'm going to knot forward, but again, it doesn't matter when they're the same colour. So for the next row, I want to take the next thread in the sequence at either side. And I want to take this thread and do backward knots. And then for the rest of the row, I want to do forward knots. And then at the other side, I want to do a mirror of this. So first, I want to do forward knot. And for the rest of the row, I want to do backward knots. And then in the centre, any direction that you like. And then I want to take my last colour and at this side I'm just going to be doing forward knots to the centre.
and then a mirror at the other side so I would do backward knots to the centre And once you've done that, you should have completed your first square in your pattern. And you basically want to keep repeating these steps all the way down until you've got the bracelet as long as you want it. So you're just going to keep working from the centre out and then back down. And you should end up with something that looks like this. So I've done a braided tie on at each end for fastening on the bracelet. Alternately, if you started from a loop rather than a flat edge, you'd want to do two braided tie ons at one end to fasten your bracelet on. And that is your completed friendship bracelet.